Right, I see four tattoos. Oh, only tattoos. four? Yes, they are. They are. But they're all tattoos, so it's all not Tiro. You know, Tiro is the no, non-permanent no, 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 one. Not Henna, none of that. <laughs> none of that. Okay, right. So Henna, yeah. yeah. So why did you put the be yourself message? Um, oh, you notice that? Because I, I am actually somebody that should sort of remind herself that myself is so unique. Because I struggled for a really long time with like self esteem issues. Right. Hmm, so. I wouldn't think so. I know. <laughs> <laughs> But I actually did. Why? There's this thing that Megan the Stallion is doing. I think, I don't know what it's called exactly, but she says it's along the line of tough girls have bad days or something, or baddies have mm. bad days. And I feel like that's what it is. Like people, like just how, as soon as you said, as soon as I said I actually do have self esteem issues, you're like, really? People are very quick to put me in a box and they're always very quick to sort of believe that I couldn't possibly have self-esteem issues. So I had to keep give myself that reminder that I should mm. always be myself mm. and always remember that I'm so unique and I'm special. Yeah, that's a difficult line to walk where you haven't to remind yourself that everybody thinks that you wake up every I'm morning good. and you're a lion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I like that you said lion because I am. I'm a Leo. Yeah, so. mm, that's mm -hmm. it, literally. Mm -hmm. Apart from reminding yourself, how do you manage that constant struggle, because we do need to be weak sometimes. Mm -hmm. We do need to lean on people. Mm -hmm. So how do you manage that struggle? I'm a very tough love person, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. I do believe that, yes, it's okay to cry, it's okay to be sad, it's okay to feel um, vulnerable, mm -hmm. but don't let it last forever. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't afford to let it last forever. So that's just really it. Yeah, yeah. What's the thing you're most afraid of? Ooh, wow, that's a tough one. Failure, especially like what I consider success. Okay. Not failure of what, or like what people would consider a failure, because I even feel like in some areas of and what people consider a failure. <laughs> but what I consider su success, what I consider I want Mawea Bebe to be, mm. and if that isn't what happens, that's failure to mm. me. Mm. What areas do people think that you're a failure? I can't possibly... Our happen. marriage now. Oh, oh right, right. Us now. <laughs> You don't have children. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let me do let me do this. Let me get a moment. Why are you not married? Oh God. <laughs> let's, I hate that question. Let's go there. But then to be honest, I feel like that question should be asked to men more, not even women, because last night checked, this man that proposes, like you know, you don't want to ask a woman. So mm -hmm. it's almost like, why haven't you found a wife as mm -hmm. opposed to why haven't I found a husband? Right. And I just don't understand how that should be equated to who I am and what I am and my so I just feel, why should all my achievements be based on this one thing that's, to me, done for society? That's, that's honestly... Okay, yeah. You've made a, a couple of statements, at least two that I've read, mm -hmm. that the newspapers carried. Mm -hmm. One was, I think, that marriage is a sham or a mm -hmm. scam or something. Mm -hmm. So somebody will say, why is he peppering you? <laughs> yeah, which is a fair question, to be honest. It is. But then if something is hurting, or, if, or not even hurting, if someone is so particular about something. Maybe the person is coming from a place of knowledge like or like experience. At least they say the experience is the best teacher. And apart from that, I've just noticed that a lot of people are getting married for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are doing it because of pressure. A lot of people believe that, oh yes, it's time. I'm in my 30s. Why? Why shouldn't I be? And then you end up being with people that you probably would have never ended up being with in the first place. Mm -hmm. Bad marriages. And I just feel like we should just take some time to actually love ourselves first. Mm. I believe that if I don't love myself, if I don't have these, these reminders to remind myself of who I am, how can someone else fall in love with me? Yeah, yeah. So that's just how I look, especially from a woman's perspective. And that's why I'm particular about women going into marriages and you know just going into it because of the pressure. It's, it has to be deeper than that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of us are not thinking about it, we're just thinking about the wedding yeah. and you know the honeymoon. Yeah. But marriage is so much deeper than that. I know. So I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to ask you too many questions about you know, so that it, it's not if you are defending mm -hmm. this point of view. But it's really confusing to me. Like I literally had somebody because I'm not married, mm. and I had somebody close to me. I don't want to put her on the spot <laughs> and say, you know, you need to get. And I'm like, but you just told me the story of three people who are dearly. Close. And I'm, I'm married. When marriage works, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. thing. And I've seen some marriages Absolutely that amazing. I love. Mm -hmm. You know, but I'm like, you just told me about these three people. One of them we knew about, the other one we didn't even know. Mm -hmm. It just, it turned out that they had been, we didn't know, mm -hmm. you know. And another one that just happened, 
Yes, you're, you're not pressuring making a me. case for me. Mm -hmm. Well, why is it, is it like Misery Likes Company? I feel like it's 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 that. It's also there's this amazing book that I um, started that I've been reading. Well, I finished reading it, or I read in the past. It's called Women Don't Owe, Owe You Pretty. Yes. It's by Florence Given. Yeah. And in that book, that book really sort of, in a sense, changed my perspective and my mind. Mm. Because being a natural rebel, it's easy for you to, yes, be the bully, you know what I mean? And be, and, you know, say, oh, yeah, you're choosing the easier option by mm. deciding to be in a marriage where your husband is beating you. But at the end of the day, when I read that book, I realized that it's actually very important for you, if you want to change society, you've also got to understand why people are doing what society wants. Mm. It's easier at the end of the day. It's mm. easier for a woman to settle down, get married at 25. At least her parents will not be disturbing her. People will not say, go and marry. Like, it's easier to go that route. Mm. But if you as a woman have decided that that's not necessarily what you want for yourself, mm -hmm. you can't now start to look down on women that want that. And that's really it. Yeah. So it's obviously easier for your friend to encourage you to get married. So yes, it's a mi mixture of misery loves company, and it's easier to follow society. It's easier. It's not for everybody. Society. Not everybody is supposed to be rebellious. Yeah. yeah. And at the same time, not everybody is supposed to get married. Yeah. Not everybody is supposed to have kids. Like, it's just what it is. Yeah, yeah. So I feel once I read that book, I realized that, yeah, all these statements will constantly come because that's what society mm -hmm. wants and that's what society has dictated. And it's easier to follow that path. But I don't believe in things being easy, so yeah. I'll be a rebel <laughs> till the day I die. <laughs> <laughs>